This tutorial is going to show you how to convert an MP4 file into an AVI file. Now, the reason you want to do this is because most video editing programs, such as Windows Movie Maker and Virtual Dub, do not accept MP4 files. And the ironic thing is that many camcorders, especially the one I have, when I make a video, it creates an MP4 file, and I cannot load this MP4 file to be edited in Windows Movie Maker or Virtual Dub. So we have to convert it to a file which those video editing programs do accept. The best one and most compressed is an AVI file. So we have to convert an MP4 into an AVI. Now the issue is not the conversion. The conversion's okay. The problem is when you convert a file, it may lose quality. And depending on how you convert it, and that's the key, it's the settings. I went to a painstaking process to find the proper settings, the bitrate speed, it's all very important, the frames per second, depending on what the quality is going to look like. You do not want to change the quality of the video because it's going to defeat the purpose. You want the video to look just as good as the original one. So the program I use, there are many out there, is called Super. I'm going to open it right now. There are a lot of them out there, but this is by far the best one that I've sampled that has worked best for me. If you have one that works good for you, then stick with it. If it compresses good, it works fast, and it doesn't hurt the quality use it by all means. I put a link in the video description where to get this. It's pretty easy. It's actually free. That's the best part about it. It's called Super by WriteSoft. They're the ones that write it or made this program. It's an excellent program. So anyways, let's get started. It's pretty easy to use. It's a drag and drop format. Now, when, when I take my video, I just connect it with my USB cable, my computer detects it right away and it's in located in my computer under disk E. I'll click here. So let's say this is the video that I want to convert. This is a video that I took recently. So all I got to do from the drive itself just drag and drop. Now look at the settings closely. The output should be set to AVI because that's what we want to create. The video codec should be MPEG-4 and the audio should be set under MP3. Choose Film Peg. In this option right here. And the video scale size, no change. I don't want to change anything to the video. I want the video to look good. Frame per second, default is 25. Leave it as that. The bitrate kilobyte per second speed I use is 2352. I've sampled this many times. This is important depending on if the quality is going to change. It seems to be that this is that this does the best job as far as keeping the quality the way it is. Options put high quality, 48k audio. Sampling frequency should be set here, 22050. Channels 2. Bitrate kilobyte per second should be set to 96 and use the default setting under the language and audio stream track number. And all we got to do here is just click encode. Use DV50 best with DivX5. This is the one that seems to work okay. So just click okay with that. Click yes again. And you're going to see this start to move up. This is going to show the progress of the conversion. Now, as you see right here, it's already creating a file, an AVI file. It's not done, it's kind of cooking, so to speak. And once this is done, this will be done. And it'll be ready to plug right into Windows Movie Maker or using Virtual Dub. And there you go, the file's done. The thing about it is that it took a 39 megabyte file and turned it into a 11.7 megabyte file. So that's really good. You're killing two birds at one stone. Not only you're converting to an AVI, you're making it a lot smaller, making it more manageable and easier to upload. Now let's just see if it works. Let's just try with Windows Movie Maker and see if Windows Movie Maker accepts the file. Go to Import Video. And there you go, it's processing. There you go. There's the video. Works great. So there you have it. How to convert an MP4 to an AVI file. 
I hope you found this video useful. Please comment and rate this video and thank you for tuning in.